Challenge it here. I'm about to take the doors off the deck lid and the hood so I can paint the jams on it. I'll be painting also the jams on the car. I just gotta scuff them up, but I'm gonna take everything off and then I start sanding them down. As you can see, we done got the deck lid off. The doors. Also the hood. I'm going to take you inside and show you what we got going. Deck lid and the hood. Still got to mask the stickers off. We don't want to paint over those. Up under the hood and deck lid, it's not even glossy. It's like a dull finish. We got the doors over here. Still gotta mash this up, and I'll probably just mash this entire section up up here because you won't be able to see it once the door panel go on. And what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be scuffing up with a maroon scotch sprite. Got a sticker here. I gotta tape up. And it's pretty simple. I got a piece up here I can show you. The only thing you're going to be doing is scuffing it up. Putting some scratches in it so the paint of it has something to burn to. There's a cover go right here so I probably won't paint all this here. It stops right here so I might just paint from here back. Also here, it's a heat shield go here. Same thing. All right, let me finish this, then I'll cut you back on. Finished up with the sander. Now what we'll do, we'll take them back outside, wash them up with some soap and water, let it dry off, and then we'll wipe it down with wax and grease remover. Okay, I just pulled the challenger back in. About to get ready to mask it up. But before I do that, before I spray the jams, I'm going to be spraying this top black. It's going to be a totally different video. So you'll probably get that video after this video. But I'm going to spray it off. I'm going to get, I had washed it up before I brought it in. I'm going to spray it off. Get the water out of the cracks. Then I mask it up. And move on from there. Here's the door jams mashed up. I got this area here back mass. Back mass meaning I got the tape on the other side so I have a clean paint line. With some molding going now, but I still want a clean paint line. Now I take my plastic, put it over the entire car. And once I spray this roof here, I cut this section out and spray the jams. It's completely masked now. I need to cut out my opening, my jams. Then I, once I cut it out, I tape it to where I got my tape line. It's ready to be sprayed. I just gotta wipe it down with wax and grease remover. See the fingerprint there? 
Move the grease. Everything back in the shop ready to be sprayed. But before we spray it, we're gonna wipe it down with wax and grease remover, like I said. Get this prep off. Wipe it on with one cloth, wipe it off with the other. I went on and taped up the threads here. Keep from getting paint on them. Looks like we're good to go. Once the wipe down. Here's the paint I'm going with. It's the Slick Flats Army Green Low Gloss Top Coat by Urican. I got some in my cup. I just got to reduce it and activate it. I done got paint on my fingers now. But I'm going to be spraying it with this Sata Jet 5000B HVLP 1.3 tip. Let me go ahead and reduce it and activate it. Then we'll be good to go. Makes us photo one to one. Here's the results. Three coats of the Armor Green. We're going to let this sit out in the shop overnight. Then we'll bring the car in and shoot the jams on the car. Also paint the inserts to the grill. Need to unmask this also.
Here's the jams on the car. Three coats. Once it's dry, I unmask it. Pull it outside. Then we'll move on to the next step. I also painted the mirrors back here. Let me take you back here. Stop. 